What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, Soul Squad? Okay, you see everything I have here on this table. I'm not talking this bread and stuff. I got the eggs, carrots, cake, flour, pineapples, vanilla, sugar, salt. Guys, we about to do what? We about to make a carrot cake. Mother stays around the corner. Someone want to make their mom a carrot cake. Something that's delicious, moist, quick, and easy. Man watch this video all right before we get started guys you know what we gotta do we gotta do what hit that intro We're going to start with flour. I'm not using regular flour. You can't use an all-purpose flour, but I prefer to use um, cake flour. Which cake flour you use is up to you. You don't have to be a certain type of cake flour. Um, but I just, you know, I catch what's on sale. I use this right here, soft silk, soft silk cake flour. So I'm going in, I need two and a half cups of cake flour. And remember, I don't measure a lot. But I told you guys, when I bake, Honey, I measure because you want your cakes and stuff to come out good. So that's one cup. Come on out of there. So okay. you need two and a half cups of um of cake flour. And we are doing the measurements. We are doing the measurements. That's one cup. So that makes what? That's two cups. And then I have my half a cup right here. So we are doing two and a half cups of cake flour. And actually when I do that, I still, you need to do a half a box of cake flour, enough to do another cake, okay? And so I'm doing my dry ingredients first. I have my baking powder. I'm going in with two, two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, guys, so I'm about to add one teaspoon of baking soda. So I added one, I added two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda. Now I have my ground cinnamon, and I am going to add two teaspoons, a teaspoon and a half, actually. A teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon. This is a teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon. Now, you guys, I have what's called Grandma Jackie sweet potato. Let me see. Sweet potato pie mix, right? And this has like ginger and stuff in it. But if you don't have this, you're still going to make this cake. But what you're going to do, you're going to use one fourth, one fourth teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon of ginger one fourth teaspoon of ginger i had my grandma jack sweet potato pie mix i'm putting in a teaspoon of that but if you don't have this pie mix you must definitely use one fourth teaspoon of ginger guys so it's one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon one fourth teaspoon of ginger don't do what i'm doing okay because if you don't have the pie mix this cake is still is you can still make it. We're gonna go in with a half a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of salt, okay? And then what we're gonna do, this is our dry ingredients. We're just gonna whisk all our dry ingredients together. We're gonna whisk all our dry ingredients together. And this is our dry ingredients for our carrot cake. Let's go over the steps again. Two and a half cups of either cake flour or purpose flour. If you do that, please sift your flour. We're going to do two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one, um, let me see, one and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger and a half a teaspoon of salt 
that's this. I'm going to put it in the description, and then you're going to mix the stir, stir to the side. Let's get our wet ingredients. Okay, guys, we're going in with our wet ingredients in a separate bowl, and it's going to be four eggs. Now, I'm doing one egg at a time. And if you want to do them in a separate bowl, you can. I just always chanced it, never had a problem. We're going in with four eggs, okay? Just like that. And we are using light brown sugar. You could use, because the only thing, um, yeah, I use light, I use brown sugar. And I'm using a cup and a half of light brown sugar, or you can use dark brown sugar, or you can use regular sugar. Whichever sugar you prefer, whichever sugar you have. So, again, these are, um, what I prefer over the years, I have always used brown sugar, so I'm going in. That's one cup. Woohoo! And I pack it and get a good measurement. That's a half a cup. So I'm using a cup and a half of brown sugar. You can use dark brown, light brown, or you could use regular um, granulated white sugar. It is it, up to you. Yes, yeah, granulated white sugar. Did, <laughs> did I hesitate? I don't think I did. Okay, and to that, uh, let me get this over here. I am using some pure vanilla. Again, whatever you have, you can use. I'm using two teaspoons. Now, my vanilla, you can use the cap. But I got my teaspoon right here. If you don't have the spe teaspoon, you can use the cap. But I'm going in with two. Two teaspoons. Oh! We got a little bit of extra vanilla, y'all. I had an overflow. We look like we got two teaspoons and a half. Ah, I don't know how I did that. The hand had a slip, but that's okay. But never make everything taste better. It makes everything taste better. So what we're gonna do here, and we need one cup of vegetable oil. One cup of vegetable oil. And let me see. I got my pan, my um. Let me get a measure cup of my vegetable oil, guys. Okay, guys, one cup of vegetable oil, and we're gonna stir. Okay, guys. So I have one cup of oil, vegetable oil. I have four eggs. I have two teaspoons of vanilla, and um a cup and a half of brown sugar and we're going to stir this all up together and this is the starred this is what you call the wet ingredients this is my base for my um carrot cake now some people put nuts and raisins i don't do the nuts and i don't do the raisins because i don't like nuts and i'm not putting raisins in my carrot cake okay so again um, my wet ingredients are four eggs. And this cake is so loosely that you don't even have to use a um, a mixer or you can actually just use your, uh, your hand. So this is a cup and a half of brown sugar. You use dark or you can use white sugar, granulated, granulated sugar. Four eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and a cup of oil. And to this, we're going to add in our carrots. I don't, I don't, I don't measure out my carrots. I'm gonna tell you these are. This is five carrots. Five carrots. Some people say you need like three cups of carrots. I um peel with my potato peeler. I, I wash and peel my carrots, and then I shred them. And I do the little fine end, the thin end of the shredder on here. And mine pineapples and the pineapples make it nice and moist so i'm going in i drain the juice all but it still might be a little bit juice left in there and i use a cup of pineapple so i use a cup of pineapple and it's crushed pineapples guys and about five carrots shredded 
And like I said, some people may tell you, oh, um, three cups of carrots. And I mix it up into my wet ingredient just like this. And what's going to happen is that if you don't like pineapples, you could use a cup of um, apple sauce. And apple sauce, and it could be a sweetened apple sauce as well. And now I'm going in a little at a time with my wet ingredient. And I'm just going to swap, whisk that on in there. And of course, when I make the cream cheese frosting, I will be using um, my stand mixer to make that. And guys, you know, I'm not much of a decorator. So, you know, this is going to be a square cake. Because I always, always tell you guys. And I'm going in with my dry ingredients. So, everything for this cake is going to be in my description. I'm most definitely going to put the recipe in here. Because it's Mother's Day. I ain't got time for nobody messing up their cake. But their mom be like, Miss Sopa T told me to do this. And I got this recipe. No, so, we're going to put in the ingredients in here. And so you can make you an awesome, an awesome carrot cake for your mom, your grandma, your mom, your sister, whoever you consider the most important woman in your life on that day. This is going to be an amazing carrot cake for them. So yeah. And see how you don't need a, mix, a mixer, a stand mixer. Even I had bad arthritis, but this cake mix runs so thin with the, um, the juices of the um the oil and all that look at this this is what you want to look like this is what you want your uh what you want your carrot cake to look like okay let's get it in the pan hey guys so since y'all they ain't had no cake spray we going old school and yes this is what i'm using a little pan and this is a 9 by 13 aluminum pan for my carrot cake because, like I tell you guys, I don't ice in, I don't decorate well, and yeah. So I make sure I get my sides. So, and then I like this too because this the cake is sitting here. I'm not gonna flip it out or anything like that. So I'm just ice. I'm putting butter all on the sides so that I can um. Flour. This is old school, y'all. Y'all know this is old school and everything. And um, I'm going to get my flour in here. And we're going to get the flour. The butter helps the flour stick. So that's what that's all about. Butter helps the flour stick. Okay. And these pans are thin, so... I got, I have two pans. <laughs> All right, and I'll put my flour in here and let it do what it do. That's where we used to, um, this is how I grew up, um, doing cakes, you know, doing that whole flour thing over top of the sink and letting your flour be all in your pan. Happy Tuesday. To everybody going in with some flowers I have a lot going on in my house y'all I'm going in with the flowers so that I could flower my pain because so I'm going to show you guys how you do it you just do just like this I'm gonna grab a uh, um let me grab a paper plate so I could hit, hit, see. And you take the trash, a bag of trash with you. And all what you're recycling, the recycling. Yeah, see. And when I don't get it, I'm going to clean up the flour, guys. And you got to tap it. That's why I still do those with the sink and stuff. But, you know. And 
and this is a flour pan. And if you was to flip your cake out, you'd be good to go. But we're not flipping this cake out. This cake will be living in this pan. But let me clean up my flour mess and she is grease buttered and flour, ready for cake mix. Okay guys, I'm finished with my wild whisk. My mess of potato pie. I'm gonna be having a little um, but those are carrots. I'm gonna be having the strings in it. I don't want to flash my eye. And the soup you go. While my cake in the oven, I'm most definitely gonna be cleaning all my mess up. And I'm taking my uh, mix. And there it is, y'all. This beautiful, beautiful carrot cake. Again, all the ingredients and measurements is gonna be. And my description above. Yeah. So we're gonna do like this. And we're gonna tap, tap, tap for air bubbles. My oven is on 350. And this carrot cake is going in the oven, and she about to clean all this up. Okay, guys, here's my carrot cake. And we are about to make the cream cheese frosting. Came out good, house smell amazing. So guys, in my mixer, I have one pack of room temperature cream cheese and one stick of room temperature unsalted butter. Um, I got one hand, so let's try and mix this up. So, I got my mixer going. Let's see how it goes. Go straight down the side. I straight down the side. Now I am mixing it again. A nice, nice whipped cream cheese sauce in the middle of I have three cups of powdered sugar, confectionery sugar that I added to this. Going in with a teaspoon of vanilla to keep from everything splashing everywhere <clears throat> i am going to cover with a tea towel yes y'all and i'm doing it on high and we'll keep it from splashing flowers everywhere it's still getting out just a little bit but not that much okay my cream cheese sauce is ready Okay, guys, my cream cheese frosting is ready. Again, I always like doing it this way because I am not a cake decorator, guys. I am not at all. As much cream cheese frosting as you want. Going to take my spatula, my cake spatula. And make sure that your um, cake is nice and cool for your frosting won't melt, okay? Make sure that cake is nice and cool for your frosting won't melt. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And how much frosting? And this is why I don't do cake because like literally right now, just doing this, why my hand trying to crap up on me? Folks out there with arthritis, you know exactly what I mean. I got a little bit corner left. My frosting came out amazing. I have some. I was trying to save some to do this other thing, but I think I got enough. Go ahead, swap a little bit more. I got some type of skills. I got this a little bit type of skills, you know. This a little bit. 
Again, and it's up to you on how much frosting you want. You can double the frosting recipe. For me, it was just one thing of um one thing of cream cheese and three cups of powdered sugar. Three cups of powdered sugar and one eight ounce block of salted cream cheese at room temperature. Alright, so this is our cake thus far. Look at Okay. I have some cream cheese frosting left. And to this frosting, I'm going to add some orange food coloring. I don't have much, so I don't need a drip. And this is gel. And let's stir it up. Let's turn the orange that I want it to turn. And this part right here is totally, totally optional. I need a little bit more. This part is totally optional. If you want to decorate a cake for Mother's Day or your mom or that special lady that you consider a mom, an auntie, a grandma, that special woman that was there for you. Okay, I'm going to finish stirring this up and place it in my piping bag. Okay, guys, so... I have a pastry bag, a tip, and what we're going to try to do, because I told you guys I don't decorate, pastry bag and a tip, I'm going to cut it off with the scissors, and I'm going to create me a border. <laughs> yes, it's Mother's Day, why not try, right? And I hope I have enough frosting to do this. I can't decorate, and yes, it is so amateurs, amateurry, whatever you want to call it. But. Try to create a border on our um and I'm trying to do it big because I wanted the um I wanted to do the whole cake. I think I may have enough. My carrot cake. He had to do some happy Mother's Day. What do I have? What do I have? So, I don't have no more frosting. Because this is like, okay, it's Mother's Day. Y'all know I'm not the best decorator. But, hey, I got a cake with a border. Happy Mother's Day. This is a Mother's Day dessert. My version. Well, you know, not my version. Yeah, my version. A good old carrot cake guys you can never go wrong with a good carrot cake um let me take a thumbnail then we gonna take a slice 
Again, this is what she looking like. This is my carrot cake with a border inside my pan and everything. Guys, remember, if I had some frosting left, I most definitely could have um could have put like some little carrots or something on it. I don't know, but this is my carrot cake. I tried. Okay, guys, this is the cake. You know what? I'm trying to figure out should I cut it with this. Let me get a knife. Hand me a knife, Jackson. Yeah. So this is my curry cake topped with um, amazing, amazing um, cream cheese frosting. And it's just like a birthday cake. It's like a birthday cake. You don't know how to cut it, which I don't know how to cut. All right, and that goes. And I'm going to take my spatula. Again, a carrot cake is so moist. Guys, look at that. She came out so amazing. Look at that. Okay, guys, let me just let you see how moist this cake is. Look at it. Again, I make square cake. Look at the carrots. And the cinnamon and all that stuff. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, that is a good carrot cake. Mmm. -hmm. And that is a good carrot cake. It's so moist. Oh, not that sweet. Mmm. That is good. I just about to tell you guys, I can't be doing no cakes in these videos. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified until my next video, guys. I am. I am out. This curry take. Curry take. <laughs> curry cake tastes so good. Go check out Soul C Vlogs. My sister New Life Journey to see what, she, what she's over there doing. And yeah, this would be a great dessert. A great dessert, guys. All right, Soul Squad, I'm out.